Okay, hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay, and this is the 14th of June, and this is on Monday. So today, looks like the market is arranging. So um, this is a video session, this is not the live stream. And because I will be running the Forex Tester today, and exactly show you how I take trades, and also exit timings. So, let me squeeze my face. Okay, and just a quick disclaimer, uh, this information today is basically based on my own understanding. So when you take trades, please do with the risk management. And also if you can follow the guidelines and rules, that would be great. So uh, I have been screening charts today. Oh, actually this recorded video is uh, recorded at 7 or 5 a.m. in UTC time zone. And as I screen the pairs, everything, almost everything is flat ranging. I see gold has been downtrending, and also, uh, yeah, a couple of commodities are trending. But in terms of the forex pairs, it's been ranging, retracing. So this is the best day to run the tester and backtest your own strategy. And that's usually what I do. I usually uh, either read books or uh, run tester to really um, ref refine my strategy. And also, I, I also look back my own trace in the month of May, for example, and exactly um, uh, evaluate my past trades and also find a way to improve my trades in the past. So today I will be running the Forex Tester 5 and I have it in the back. Okay, so um, so usually what I do when I backtest is that the uh, I lay out three charts. I have so here in the five I have a daily chart on the upper right and the one hour chart on the lower right, and on the left there is a five minute chart. So I switch around this this a uh, daily chart in between daily to four, and below here I switch between one hour and thirty minute chart, and on the left I switch in between 5 and 15 because these are my three time frames that I usually use so um, so yeah I look at the charts in multiple time frames and I only use Ichimoku in higher time frames and when it comes to look for an exact edge trading edge I look at the 5 or 15 to take it so um, so this is the past chart back in 2012 in uh, July. So let uh, me run this one, and uh, until until the market goes down. So initially, I look at the daily chart or four-hour chart, and I will never pay attention to the lower time frames. So here is the bigger screen, and uh, we can see that the Kumo's down and Kijun Sen flat. So more precisely, Kumo Sen Kospan B is down, A is down and Kijun Sen flat and Tenkan Sen moving down and Chikou Span below the candles. So this is bearish. This is bearish momentum. So it's um, sooner or later I expect the market goes down this way. But uh, right now it's flat. Kijun Sen is flat. So we can see that the market is retracing. So until Kijun Sen points down, I won't look for any opportunities which is actually happening in the markets right now on the on the, today so this is the condition on the daily chart and then i compare the daily chart with the forward chart so let me switch it to the forward chart so forward chart looks like this the kumo flat senko span b flat a flat and kijun ten tenkan sen both flat and chiko span below the candles so this is it's retracing backwards and it's ranging so in this case, um, in forward chart also, I wait for the Kumo to go down, or Kijun Sen go down, and look for the sell chance in lower time frames. Now I do nothing in this condition. So since both forward chart and daily chart are flat, let me run it by daily chart, and let me move the candles one by one until I start to see downtrend or potential downtrend. So. Let me move it to the next day. So still flat. The next day, 
Kumo is still down, so this is potential downtrend, but uh, it's retracing backwards now, so I will just stay away. Let me see the next day. Okay, next day it's been still ranging. The price hit the this uh, Tenkan Sen, so Tenkan Sen bounce could happen, but um, until I see the Kijun Sen point down this way, I will just wait until the Kijun Sen points down this way. And uh, and then look for the sell chance in lower time frames. So let me run one more. Okay, so here I see Kijun Sen angle is pointing down. Kijun Sen start to point down, and uh, Kumo's Senko span A is down, and Kijun Sen flat. Sorry, the Senko span B flat. But the Kumo itself is going down this way. So this is uh, first of all downtrending in the long term so and also Kijun Sen start point down so um, the price could be going down this way from here or it might be resisted at the previous high level on this um, on this uh, daily chart previous high was here and this is also reversal the previous uh, support is becoming resistance now so it might be resist resisted at this level and go down this way could be also the scenario so this is um, 1.23308 level the market can bounce and go down and with that in mind I keep monitoring the chart I won't take a trade yet because I don't see the downtrend yet but um, I will start to look at the lower time frames in one or 30 minute chart and start to confirm the downtrend so let me go down to um, one or thirty minute chart epsilon let's see so it's this one okay and um, let me enlarge one hour chart so one hour chart looks like this and also thirty minute chart looks like this way and you can clearly see that this is ranging on these two time frames so let me run one hour chart until it goes down this way and so I expect the market goes down this way because daily chart has been bearish Kijun Sen just turned bearish and Chikou Span below the candles on the daily chart and that's why I can expect the market goes down from here or it can test the resistance and go down too however uh, now it's been ranging in one hour and thirty so I don't look for the sell chance yet. Simply, I wait for the one hour chart to go down and then finally look for the sell chance or selling edge in lower time frames. So let me run it by one hour. I mean, it could go up too. It could go up and break the resistance. In that case, I won't look for the sell chance anymore. So let's see which scenario it goes. So I will move the candles one by one by one hour chart. Okay, it uh, goes below the Kumo and up above the Kumo. It's ranging, so this is where I avoid taking trace. It's been still ranging. So let me come back to daily chart. Daily chart could be flat already, so let me see. Um, yeah, so the daily charts uh, became flat again, the Kumo flat, Senko Span B flat, A flat, and Kijun Sen flat. So I won't look at the lower time frames in this case. I switched my mindset in daily or H4 to see potential downtrend, and I don't look at the mid time frames in this condition. So you can see how I switch time frames depending on the market condition. So initially I look at the daily chart or the forward chart to, to and wait until the market goes direction, the trend. So let me run based on the daily chart in this case. Here's a daily chart. So uh, let me move the candles one by one by daily chart until we see potential downtrend. Oh, I think I went too fast. So here there, there is a downtrend exactly on this day um, the market went down broke the previous support which is 
a significant uh, it could be a you know significant signal for the continuous downtrend and due to this the Kumo Senko span B down A down and Kijun Sen down now and Chikou span still below the candles so in this condition I would expect the market goes down bearish and waves like this way so from here I switch it to one hour chart or let me go to the four hour chart and see how it behaves in four hour chart uh, this is the Kumo is too tiny you can see the Kumo twists but uh, this is too tiny Kumo so in this case in four hour chart basis it might retrace backwards <clears throat> it might retrace and uh, possibly breaks on this consecutive end wave reverse end wave in this condition and then I will look for the sell chance based on the four hour chart but uh, in a daily chart this is down the Kumo down Kijun Sen down and Chikou Span below the candles even Tenkan Sen down too so I can see the potential and continuous downtrend based on the daily time frame so let me switch it to one hour chart and here in one hour chart um, this is now also bearish the Kumo is down Senko Span A is down and Kijun Sen down price below Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Kumo and Chikou Span below the candles and this is bearish so I can look for the sell chance setting edge in lower time frames so this is how patient I am whenever I look for the trading edge I won't really jump into the market by lower time frames but I will make sure to have the trend in higher time frames and only then I go down to lower time frames and look for an entry edge so um, but let me switch it to 30 minute chart also in 30 it's flat Kumo flat and Kijun Sen flat but in a, day, in a one hour chart it's still going down so um, in one hour chart basis in this case it could break the support line downwards in this condition and the price is at the previous support then once it breaks the support then I can expect the market goes down very fast because it takes the stop losses below the previous week low here so um, in, in this condition I can find that there is a um, P wave P wave like a P formation or triangle there is a triangle like this that we can draw so always make sure to draw lines on any time frames especially daily chart daily chart support line resistance lines are very important so um, but make sure to draw lines on any time frames if you can find these uh, chart patterns or reversal confirmations so here we find the triangle P wave and I expect the market the P wave to break downwards this way okay and in this with that in mind I switch it to lower time frames so I go to the five minute chart let me zoom in here in third in five minute chart within the P wave the market is right now going bearish but at the stochastic spin gold crossing so I, I might have to wait for the dead cross to come on stochastic um, and the dead cross could happen after the breakout if that's the case then I will take that dead cross after the P wave break and take a sell and but it looks like the price is ranging right now in five because um, the price has been uh, uh, it was bullish before or uh, we can call it like a V wave and the market broke the previous neckline this was a small double top in five and neckline breakout happening so it could go down this way breaks uh, this uh, it breaking it's breaking the previous support as well as it's a reversal line it's breaking a reversal line and in my retest this level 1.21555 level and it might go down and as a result it may become P wave breakout in one hour chart as well so let me run it by five until I see the potential bearishness in this case so uh, on the next day there was a huge gap huge drop so um, 
most likely we weren't able to take trades in this condition so um, let me just run it a bit more until we find other confirmations so now we have the stochastic dead cross happen stochastic dead cross and the price all the way below the these uh, previous candles and uh, in this condition this is most likely in the beginning of the asian session where there's a huge gap in between maybe this could be uh, between friday and monday it can happen so in this condition i won't jump in just because the scarcity did cross happens i will wait and see if the price is gonna fill the gap or it keeps going down this way and i usually monitor charts by one hour chart in this condition i won't really pay attention to five to look for the selling edge anymore I look at the uh, one hour chart and the price dropped all the way here broke the support and it could go down this way continuously still the kumo's down kijun sen down tenkan sen down and chiko span below the candles so this is still good confirmation to sell so once again the only thing in this condition is to is whether the price fill the gap or not so let me see let me run the chart by one one hour chart in this case so this is one hour chart okay we trace this backwards now but i can see that there is a potential support line breakout here the kumo is still down and kijun sen down too and chiko span sorry chiko span below the candles and tenkan sen is still below this uh kijun sen and kumo price below Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo. So this is bearish. So I expect the market, this is almost breaking the support line downwards and I expect the market continuously go down this way. So here, um, just in case I look at the daily chart, I think daily chart is still downtrending. So let me switch it to daily chart and now still downtrending. Yeah, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, price below Tenkan, Kijun, Kumo here. So this is bearish. So I switch it to one hour chart and it's bearish and then I watch the five minute chart one more time so we were here at the market open so we have waited for a couple of hours and now the price gradually moving down this way so we can draw lines we can first first of all draw this uh, reversal line there's a previous supports our uh, breakout and it could react it could be reacted by this uh, reversal line and go down this way could be uh, the scenario um, and also uh, if this is going to be continuously reversing the wave on the next reverse in the wave formation could be a great selling edge as well so anyhow I look for the potential downtrend and take a sell when it happens in 5 or 15 minute time frame let me see how 15 minute charts are behaving right now okay in 15 we have nice squeeze Bollinger Band has been squeezing after this uh, range in market and it looks like uh, yeah uh, stochastics lines are overlapping so I don't really pay attention to stochastics in this case but uh, there is a clear break of the support by 15 minute chart too so I can see potential downtrend from here so let me switch it to five one more time and let me move capital candles until the market breaks a support in this condition breaks a support line at uh, 1.21040 then place a sell let's say so let me run the tester by five minute chart in this case still ranging so good to wait in this condition you don't sell or you don't buy in this condition because now it's ranging again it might go up temporarily so we have to be very cautious and patient in this case okay bondage band is squeezing but uh the market is ranging and i don't see any direction in five minute chart in this case there's a box range the resistance are at the same levels and uh, the, the supports are at the same levels. So this is box range 
So simply I wait for the market breaks and take a sell at the, after the box range breakout. So now the Bollinger Band are even more squeezing and it's like charging its energy for the next move. And most likely it breaks downwards in this condition. And once again, when it breaks up this way, then I won't look for the sell chance anymore. So let me see if, which way it goes. Another resistance. Okay, now there's a breakout. So this breakout is a good sign for this continuous downtrend. So um, the, you can place a sell here at the breakout, or you can wait for the retest and place a sell here too. Now square six is about to be dead crossing, so this is also a good sign to sell after you, you find the dead cross, then you can sell soon from here too. So um, once again, let me go back to the higher time frames. Let me go back to daily chart. Daily chart is going down. The Kumo down, Kijun Sen down nicely. And also in 4 hour chart, uh, it's going down too. In 4 hour chart, the Kumo is a bit too small here, but uh, I can see that there's a potential downtrend on these Ichimoku lines. And then in the mid time frames, in 1 hour chart, it's going down still, Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. The P wave breakout with the gap, and now afterwards, looks like it's been continuously bearish move. And then um, I look at the 30 minute chart also. And 30 minute chart also downtrending. So this is very strong and stable downtrend on multiple time frames. So this is exactly when I place a sell at this moment. So let me switch it to 5 again. And there is a, in 5, there was a box range breakout. And now uh, price is below the support. And um, scare 6, I will wait for scarcity 6 death cross to happen just to make sure that the market goes down. So let me just move a couple more candles until it happens. Okay, so now there's a clear Stochastic dead cross, so that will be a great sell chance as well. So in this case, I place a sell over here at uh, 0.2095 level. This is my sell position, and my stop loss will be above the previous high. It's going to be above uh, a box range, and it's going to be uh, at 1.21175 level is my stop loss. So. And pips wise, the stop loss in this case is uh, I take 20, 23, almost like 23 pips of stop loss and place a sell from here. And that's why my stop losses are very tight usually. But in this condition, with this very tight stop loss, with the 23 pips of stop loss, I follow the daily direction. So let me switch to the daily chart one more time. I switch it to the daily chart and you can see that the daily chart is going down. So simply I follow the downtrend on the daily chart. So that in this in this way, the risk reward ratio is going to be much much greater than taking trades on one single time frame. <clears throat> so um, let me run the tester by 5 and just to see how it goes. Okay, breakout. Still ranging, but still expecting the market breaks down. Um, it somehow it was about to touch very close. Okay, so now in this case, it went up and exit here. So in this case, uh, this was in the loss. So uh, once again, let me come back to the daily chart. Okay, daily charts is going down, so I expect the market go down downwards this way, but in five, it's going opposite direction. Let me see, in five minute chart, it's going up on the N wave in this condition, so uh, it's good to exit over here. And in this uh, in this case, a risk for trade will be two percent. So two percent drawdown is a uh, very very small, tiny. So. 
since daily charts is going down, after this exit, you can always look for the re-entry chance. You can look at the same daily chart and forward chart, 1 hour chart, 30 minute chart, and um, exit. I mean, look for another entry chance. So, but here, in this condition, I would prefer to exit um, once here because the market is going up, broke the box range upwards in this condition. So that was a good exit timing. Or uh, in this over here, the position might be taken away. So it's either here or here will be my exit timing. So as a result, it was a loss, but this is, I think, the way to, I think it, this is a good example of how I exit or how I um, how I exit in five minute chart in this example. Yeah, unfortunately it didn't go down, but I think I think uh, I think that's a good uh, example for this uh, correct and accurate exit timing. And after so after the entry, after the entry over uh, here, so this was my entry, and this was my exit, and. It's been uh, so. This is in five minute chart, and uh, it's been. Let's see, it's been uh, twenty, sorry, fifty four bars, fifty four, fifty four bars. So five minute chart, fifty four bars would be around like uh, yeah, less than like uh, two hours. So in less than two hours, I exit on this trade. So once I set the sell and place a stop loss then um, if the market went downwards this way then of course I will move it to break even and if it reverses backwards simply I exit is my strategy so you only have a 23, point, 23 pips of stop loss and look for the re-entry chance so um, let me switch to the daily chart let me switch to the daily chart and see which way it's going on the daily chart because uh, in this case Kumo still down Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down and Shikou Span below so the market could continuously going down this way so let me see uh, which way it goes on a daily basis let me just move the candles one by one okay so oops hold on let me just move back so here in this, so in the two days, so here was a doji candlestick and I exited here on the next day was bearish. So I could have uh, looked for the sell chance and on the next day it went backwards, reverse backwards. And not only that, the Kumo is now flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, and the Kumo flat. So the market is retracing backwards now, just before, just as before like this. Whenever the market reverses backwards, we never know how far it goes, how far it retraces. So here in this condition, I won't look for the sell chance anymore. So um, yeah, so basically that's how I look for a setup and take trades and exit. And in this case, it was an exit with a stop loss. But hopefully uh, you learned something new on my video session today. So that's why right now, uh, exactly when I'm recording this uh, video session, this is now at uh, 7.39 a.m. In UTC time zone, the market is, looks to be flat, so simply I stay away. I run the tester like this today, or um, I look back my own trace and fine-tune and refine my trace. Okay, everyone, so uh, once again, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live streams every day on my YouTube channel. So I will see you soon. Until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Alright everyone, matane. I say matane and that means see you in Japanese. I get these questions sometimes so I, I say uh, I translate in Japanese. So. I say matane everyone, thank you so much.